Okay, so what I have here is four different levels that I have imported from other games. So, Bomb on Battlefield, I have Star Roads Course 1, Bomb on Battlefield. Course 2, I have from King Boo's Revenge, Course 2. It's not perfect, but you know, I just did it real quick. In level three, I have level three from Star Revenge, redone, right here. And you'll notice this um, surface node thing. That is because I don't have enough collision cells enabled because some of these levels use a ridiculous amount of collision. So much in fact that it would require a new patch, but anyway. And here in course four, we have the course three from Star Revenge, five. So anyway, you may be asking yourself how I did all of this. Well, it's very easy. So here I have this level. I made this in five seconds. And what I did was import this normally as a new level to the SM64EX Allo repo. And then in a different scene, I have imported a level from Star Revenge 5, right? And how I did this was very simple. I have the tool included with ROM Manager 2C called import level.py. You load it and you hit run. And you'll need to have Fast64 and then you'll need to have the address, your decomp repo there. And then what you're going to do is to import a level, you're going to choose a level or a level with ROM manager to see, you'll hit, you'll just type this in and custom dot. If it's a normal level, you will remove the custom and the underscore there. And then that's it. And then you hit import level. I won't do it now because it's very laggy. And then what you're being given is this, right? And then from there, all literally all you have to do is hit export level. And you're done. That's it. And that's the only steps I did to get the levels that you see here. I did comment out some stuff because the levels weren't set up to take the objects in these levels but that's literally all i did and you can very simply see that everything matches here we have the same features that we would have over here and then of course these are all in blender you can save them as your own model files you can use them into to import for uh, ROM manager you can use them to uh, remake it into something else you could you know create a Kaizo or SR5 extreme edition you know whatever it's completely within you can do whatever you want the only caveat here is that these are imported from the way they are made originally so there may be issues, for example, I had to comment out some objects here because I didn't have the, what I assume is the exclamation boxes, you know, Brodu likes to put a bunch of stuff in them and I didn't set that up. So, you know, you got to figure out some stuff, but you know, if you're going to, most of that is just the objects. You just put them as you need to, need to, you set up the warps properly, you know, just like any other hack and it's good.